Yo, what up, Kenny Bogus, taste this. Welcome to another exciting adventure of Kenny's Kitchen with your boy Young Kitchen, that will be me, this dude. And yo, if you're new to the channel, new to the kitchen, man, welcome to Kenny's Kitchen, man. It's all about flavor right here, right? So, uh, so if you follow me on social media, those who know, uh, I was in uh, Duluth. I was at the Reggae Fest in Duluth, Minnesota, a couple weeks ago. And so I'm in line to get the jerk chicken, of course, and the guy in front of me, he like, man, treat yourself, man. You gotta treat yourself sometime, get the, uh, the jerk red snapper, right? They was out of it. They was out of it. And uh, the spot was uh, Rose's uh, Jamaican Kitchen. Dope food, dope vibe, dope people. But they was out of the snapper, man. So they said they'll have it next time, but I'm back at the crib. So also inspired, that's what I'm gonna share with y'all today. The jerk red snapper, I'm gonna treat myself today in the words of the good brother. You about to see it, cause we about to do it. Right here, right now, Kenny's Kitchen. Jerk red snapper, baby. All right, my people, so getting started, we got a few simple ingredients surrounding this beautiful red snapper is what you see in the middle. And uh, actually, first I wanna get to the marinade and I'm gonna come back and let you know, cause this is a super simple, uh, super simple recipe. So I wanna show y'all how to put together this marinade first. And by all means, if you uh, don't wanna do that, you can always go to the store. They got some beautiful ones. You, uh, I actually got some jerk seasoning here by Grace that I like to use. But for this particular uh, dish, you can use the uh, Walker Wood has a great jerk that's a mild, I got a spicy one too. But today we're gonna go all the way uh, from scratch, and uh, I'm gonna show y'all how we put together this jerk marinade for y'all, all right? Let's go. All right, so we are in this little cup here, we're gonna put the ingredients in. Uh, we're gonna start with some Worcestershire, and that's three fourths. We're gonna start with three fourths a cup. Pour that in there, and then we're gonna hit them with some soy sauce. Hit them with the wet first, and we're gonna use about two tablespoons of the soy sauce. One, a two. And I use the uh, reduced sodium soy sauce because we're gonna add a little bit of uh, salt to this thing later. All right, next we uh recipe called for a bunch of uh, parsley, right? No, not to parsley, but thyme leaves. I didn't have the fresh, so I'm gonna, I got about a, about a tablespoon and a half. And then I got uh, two tablespoons of allspice, whole cloves. We're gonna add to the mix. Then I got six cloves of garlic. We're gonna add that to the mix. It don't matter whole, cause we're gonna blend everything up. And then I got a, about a quarter cup of uh, black pepper corns. We'll add that to the mix. And then I'm gonna move these out the way and set these to the side. I got some uh, some scallions. We're gonna cut the tips off of them boys. And we're gonna add these in whole. We'll push them on down up in there. Should've cut them, but it's all good. All right, we're gonna uh, add about four to five ounces of ginger, and you can use fresh. I'm gonna squeeze it in there. I got the little squeeze thing, that should do it. Or you can use uh, about, about four pieces of ginger and put that in there. All right, next we're gonna add a half a cup of palm sugar. And some coconut palm sugar I got to the mix. And like I said, I got that, uh, I already got the, so the soy sauce in there and it's kind of salty, so we're just gonna add a little bit of uh, salt to the mix, some kosher salt, about, about two, two tablespoons should do. And then you want to get you if you can get you a Scotch bonnet pepper if you can find it. If not, go ahead with a jalapeno. So I got a jala, I got a uh, orange jalapeno. Take the stem out, drop that boy in there like so. And that's it, people. I'm gonna blend that thing up. Okay, people, that's how it's looking. Beautiful. Give it a little taste. I tasted it and it's wonderful. Now let's get back to the fish. All right, people. Now. I did clean the fish and uh, dried it with a paper towel, patted it down. We want to take a knife though and score it. Just score it, get a nice sharp knife and give it some nice, score it a little bit. And we can do that on both sides. Just flip it, same thing over here. Cause we, gonna, we want the marinade to go all in between this thing here. It should be good. All right, like so. Then we're gonna start to take that marinade and just rub it all in there, baby. Okay, people, now we're just gonna start to pour this 
marinade over that fish. I'm just gonna take this with this other hand and rub it on in. Real good. Flip it. And then make sure you get all up in on the inside. Oh yes. All in the crevices and in the scoring. That's a lot. That is a lot. All right, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Just make sure you rub it in real good for a couple minutes, make sure everything is good. And I'm gonna meet y'all at the cast iron with the grill marks, one of my favorite places, baby. Let's go. And here we are, people, right at one of my favorite places, the cast iron. Now, I did let that fish marinate for about 25, 30 minutes. You wanna let it marinate. And I'm gonna sit this puppy right in the middle, like so. And we're gonna let it go on a medium high for about five minutes per side, five to six minutes. And this, my friends, will be the flip. Told y'all it's real easy to do. We're gonna let this boy go for another five, six minutes. Check him out. Not a real big fish, so it don't take a whole lot of time to cook it. And that'll be it, man. At this point, I'm gonna meet y'all at the plate, baby. Let's go. And there you have it, people. There you have it. Just yeah, snap it. Now the lid over there with delicious red beans and rice. That's old man, people. And I got a little yams and some fried cabbage I did on the side. But let's, let's zoom on in there, man, so y'all can see that thing. Don't that look good? Don't it look good? Oh, yes. And as we zoom on out, it's the part of the show where I got to say gratitude, man. We, we, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Checking us out every week. Drop in the comments. Be sure to drop in the comments what you want to see us do moving forward on Kenny's Kitchen. If it's fly, you know we're going to give it a try. Jerk red snap. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. Some of y'all going to be like, but we don't like it. The head on there. So, you know, y'all in the area. I did do some uh, some, some catfish too. Yeah, some, you can't do the jerk catfish. You don't have to do the whole fish. You can't do the filet. So, you know, if you're in the area, slide on by. It's plenty, you know. That being said, we're going to get up out y'all head. We're going to catch y'all next time on the flip side of things. Y'all be good. Church, it's all about flavor, baby. We out. There you have it, people. There you have it. The jerk, the red, the snapper, done righteously as we always do here on Kenny's Kitchen. Uh, again, we salute y'all for checking checking in with us, tapping in with us every week like you do, man. Couldn't do it without y'all. We hit the 6,000 subscribers lately, man. I didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? But keep it up, man. Now we headed for 10, 20, 30. You know what I'm talking about? Check us out at tastethis.com. We got all the fly merch that you see church in, you know what I'm talking about? And uh, tap in with us next week, man. We're gonna have another bang as we always do. You know, when you do this recipe or any of our recipes, be sure to hashtag us, hashtag Kenny's Kitchen, hashtag taste this, taste D-I-S, cause we are the best, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that being said, I'm out of here, man. I'm gonna get out y'all here, y'all be good. Got more work to do, more recipes to conquer. You know what I'm talking about? We out, be good, church. Mm.